from Rowan Hall's Outreach and Hovind is Artistas. We're back again. This week is our second exhibition series, so we're gonna send it over to Miss Emily and Harper. Hey everybody, it's Miss Emily Kohlenstein. We are back with another really fun Outreach Challenge. This one is inspired by one of our digital exhibits by artist Pamela Wilde. Today, we are gonna be making stained glass Portraits. Are you excited? For almost exactly one year, from January 2018 to 2019, Pamela Wilde portrayed 120 individuals, painting 12 by 12 inch portraits of anyone willing to sit for a three hour session in her studio at Artist Emporium in Harvard of Grace, Maryland. The sessions were personal as the artist studied the sitters she had just met for long sessions. Her easel was right at the gallery window, allowing passerbys to become an audience to the live painting. The paintings were created in a technique called a la prima, or wet on wet. This is a technique in which layers of wet paint are applied to previously placed layers of wet paint. Pamela spent three hours with each sitter in the intimacy of her studio something that feels so foreign to us in the times of COVID. For our stained glass portraits inspired by artist Pamela Wilde, all you will need is a piece of paper, tissue paper, glue or Mod Podge, a paintbrush, and a permanent marker. If you're planning to do a self-portrait, you might like to also have a mirror. For the stained glass portion, you will simply use a glue stick or brush to modge podge onto your piece of paper. Get creative about what colors and shapes you use to create a background for your portrait that looks like stained glass. You can layer the tissue paper to get even more colors. Our portraits are done by using a black marker and creating basic lines to show shapes and contour. This is a technique called line drawing. You won't be shading or adding depth or texture, just basic lines and shapes. You can choose to make up a character for your portrait like I did for mine, or draw a self-portrait using a mirror like Harper and Hunter did here. I really love Harper's idea of creating multiple portraits, one in each stained glass square. This week's Art Reach Challenge was so fun, and the finished products look really good hung up on a window or anywhere where you can see the light shine through the paper. making our portraits. Thanks Emily and Harper. That was awesome. Thanks so much for sharing that project. Don't forget to share with us hashtag Artreach Challenge, hashtag Exhibition Series, hashtag Stained Glass Portrait. And as always, don't forget to share with those around you because we know that the more that we share, the more art has the power to heal, inspire, and empower. So until next week. Stay safe. Stay healthy and stay clean. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Oh.